It's the middle of March 2022 and I'm on BLM land in southern Nevada. Arizona is about six miles to my east and I've been out here for the past three days. Um, the reason I've come out here is you get this interesting mix of the Colorado Plateau and the Mojave National Preserve. Uh, so you get this sort of Joshua tree set against the sandstone. And uh, initially I was going to photograph some Joshua trees down in Joshua Tree National Park. But this time of year it can be kind of crowded and I always prefer uh, being on BLM land. So. Uh, yesterday I was able to hike into a canyon and find a couple of subjects to photograph today. Uh, the light for those scenes, I'd say around noon to four, is, uh, is best. So I have the, the morning to kill, and uh, there's a canyon not too far from here with some petroglyph sites. I'm going to get things packed up here and uh, go explore that other canyon. I didn't find any petroglyphs, but um, it was a pretty awesome hike, so I'm glad I came. That was a fun little hike. Now I'm just making some, uh, I guess you call it brunch. Uh, I got to hike into that canyon around noon and it's quite a long hike and I don't want to bring a bunch of food so I'm just going to eat now.
Well, I've just arrived at my first shooting location for the day, and I have four sheets of film with me. Three sheets of Kodak Hektar 100 and a single sheet of Portra 160. That wasn't by choice, that's just all I can fit in my pack, so um, I'm kind of limited there, but there's four subjects in this area that I want to photograph, and I'm just going to choose two today. Because uh, generally I like to shoot doubles on things, just because you can have uh, scratches or light leaks or uneven development. Those things do happen. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up my camera and start working on a composition. All right, so I'm gonna load up a sheet of Kodak Ektar on this scene here. I'm on a 210 millimeter. And there's a little bit of a breeze right now, so I'm just kind of waiting for that breeze to stop. Light's looking good. So my meter's reading 11 and 2 thirds EV and uh, at F32 and 2 thirds that's a half second exposure. All right, the wind has stopped. This is my first exposure on Kodak Ektar 100. So this composition is a little tricky. Um, you have the Joshua trees here kind of growing at an angle. My camera's level, but uh, the trees are kind of searching for the light because they're here in the shade. And there's also these crazy striations in the sandstone in the background going the same direction. So your eye kind of gets pulled to the upper right corner of this frame. And uh, composition is one of those things that I take pretty seriously when I photograph. and. Uh, working in nature sometimes you don't really have much control over that and that sort of determines a successful photograph or not in my mind so we'll see how this uh, looks when I get the film developed looking at this photo now I'm a little unsure on how I feel about it the light is great the composition isn't bad but I just feel like the subject is being overpowered by the background and they kind of get lost in this scene. So I think I'll sit on this one for a while and see if my feelings change over time. Okay, everything's nice and calm now. This is going to be a half second exposure on Kodak Ektar. So that's uh, the first scene done. Now I'm going to head over to my next location and uh, start to compose that scene.
right, so here's my first exposure on this scene. It's going to be a half second on Ektar 100. This photo is exactly why I came to this location. Sometimes I'll go on a trip with a very pre-visualized photo in mind, and sometimes I'll simply go just to explore and see what I can find. But on this trip, I wanted to take a portrait of a Joshua tree set against a sandstone wall that was bathed in reflected light. My only gripe about this exposure is that Ektar really went a little too red for my taste. So let's see what happens with this sheet of Portra 160 I'm about to expose. All right, so same exposure here. It's going to be a uh, half second at uh, F32 and two thirds of a stop. This is on uh, Portra 160. Now that's much better. Kodak Portra has been my preferred film for the past five years, and I used to shoot primarily Velvia 50, but the more I print, the more I prefer the softer color palette of Portra. The prints are just much more inviting and easy to look at. Looks like the clouds are rolled in, and uh, the two shots I had planned in that canyon both require reflected light, so I'm not going to end up taking those photos, but uh, overall, I think the shots I took yesterday, I think especially that single on the uh, Joshua tree against that red sandstone wall, that was pretty much exactly what I was hoping to get, so uh, hopefully that shot turns out. But uh, as always, I want to thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.